I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of beer. Hi everybody, I'm Chef Marcus Samuelson and welcome to Stella Artois Sessions at Home. We basically gonna cook this only on one side. We are gonna cook some restaurant style dishes for your home kitchen. The fragrance of this is absolutely, the aroma here is amazing. I know we are all missing our restaurants and you miss those restaurant dishes, but now you're gonna be able to make them right in your kitchen. This is a honey mustard glazed salmon with a beautiful Stella Artois beer broth. We're also gonna put a little bit of miso, some ginger garlic, and the surprise is gonna be this beautiful crispy rice. When you have something like a miso beer broth, crispy rice, that's where we start. We don't start with the salmon, we're gonna start with the broth. I'm starting right here with, just have some regular nice sushi rice that I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna toast it off, just like that. Putting a little salt in. And then a mix that I use a lot, garlic and ginger. This is gonna give us the base, the foundation. And the ginger could be chopped up, quite rough, and this combination, ginger, chili, uh, ginger, garlic, and eventually miso, is such a great builder. You know, it gives you that deep, deep umami flavor that this dish gonna have. I'm also gonna add in miso straight in here. We're gonna roast off miso, garlic, and ginger, and the rice. A little bit of oil in the pan. And we're gonna cook the rice in the broth, which gives us this funky, really good rice flavor into the broth as well, right? But the key thing here is the blend between the miso and the beer. The fragrance of this is absolutely, the aroma here is amazing. Toasted garlic, ginger, miso, and rice. And we're just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of beer. Glaze the pan, look at that. So the fragrance of this broth is absolutely amazing. So we got ginger, garlic, um, beautiful miso and rice, but of course, the beer. The beer is really what creates the body and the deep flavor into this broth. And then adding in some veg stock, could be fish stock, and that's just gonna simmer away now. And as that's simmering off and creating great flavors, we're gonna take care of the salmon. So we're gonna keep the skin, and the skin, skin really is gonna help us create this nice texture. So, just a very simple cut straight. You know, you always wanna double check your fish so there's no bones. You can just flipping your knife upside down and just scraping it down. And then we wanna cut about good, sort of like four ounce steaks, just straight down. And you keep slicing, cause you want the skin. So, we got our salmon steaks. And to create, and this recipe, it goes between sweet, salty, and just balancing back and forth all the time, right? So I have a little honey, and I'm gonna pour in a little soy into this glaze. Honey and soy, great combination, salt and sweet, right? I'm gonna add in mustard, to stir that in. And we're gonna use this mustard twice. We're gonna use this mustard glaze twice, both for our seared salmon, but also for our vegetables. You wanna mix that together, just like that. Whisk all the oil in. Gonna season our, our fish, and we're just gonna let it sit for a little bit. We're gonna go back to the vegetable and then come back to the salmon steaks. The rice is boiling, the broth is creating flavors. I promise crispy in this dish. And crispy for me, it's gonna be created with really nice high heat. We all missing the restaurants. This is tough times that we're going through. And I'm really, really excited and happy to partner once again with the James Beard Foundation. And you know, the Beard Foundation has done so much for chefs and it really brings us all together. But um, you're not gonna miss out eating those great restaurant dishes. You can now actually make these restaurant flavors at home. The key is to cook it short on a high heat so it gets really nice and crispy. As the wok, and the wok, to create this flavor, you kinda have to cook on high heat. I'm just adding in some oil into the pan. This only works if you have high heat, right? So, I am prepped my mushrooms. I got a little bit of garlic already prepped up, so I'm gonna dice up some more ginger. Okay, see how hot that is? I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, add my garlic in, right? I'm gonna add my mushrooms. 
And you want that stare. You want to hear this. That's why the walk. Look at that. That's the move, right? Boom. So I go down and I throw it. And I throw it back. And I'm just going to add in some smoked paprika. I'm going to throw some in the broth as well. A little bit of cumin and coriander. The broth is coming along really nice. So I'm just going to add a little smoked paprika into that glaze as well, just so we get a little heat on it. And I'm just roughly going to chop up the dill and cilantro. A little bit into the vegetables. I'm going to put a little bit in that glaze, in that honey mustard glaze. And then I'm going to save the last piece because that's what we're going to use to garnish on top. I'm going to take this off the heat now. So I'm going to strain the rice, the stock, the broth. So I got the rice here. I got my beer broth right there. I'm going to let that simmer. Just going to add in a little bit of carrots to that just to have the carrot, carrot have a little bit sort of like, it adds sweetness to the broth. I'm gonna let them simmer away. Our broth is almost done. Put a little olive oil in the pan. And when you sear something on the skin side, you just wanna sort of put it down, create a little bit of space between the salmon steaks, right? And you wanna hear this sound. You want it to sort of like to talk back a little bit to you. I add a little bit of lemon and I'm using it two ways. Why don't I just put a piece of lemon in the pan, just like this. I'm gonna season with salt. And when I sear the fish here, I go between high and medium. I start at high, and then I go down to medium because we basically gonna cook this only on one side. I'm not cooking on super high heat. I go in between heat, high heat, and medium constantly. And this will cook 90% on the skin side. Remember the rice that sort of thicken the whole broth, right? I'm gonna reuse that here. I'm gonna create that crispy, crispy rice, crispy flavor right here. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the glaze. And remember the glaze has honey and mustard. So this is gonna caramelize. As everything is cooking away, I'm just gonna squeeze, just kind of like kiss the whole pan with a little bit of lemon juice. I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of that broth. We're gonna put the glaze on, and then we just flip it, just like this. Boom, flip it, and then you can go back to the stove, but you can turn the heat off, and we're not gonna waste anything, so I'm adding my honey mustard in, and then I'm also glazing the top side, the skin side as well. It's time to plate. Always when I plate, I go a little bit off center. Look at that. I'm gonna use that lemon wedge that we had, right? Remember how we saved a little bit of those, those greens? Now's the time to use that. So we have this beautiful beer broth. I'm just gonna pour that on top. Got the carrots in there. So look at that. This honey mustard seared salmon with crispy vegetables and rice and beer broth. It's easy to create, it's super delicious, there's definitely a way in these difficult times to bring the restaurant that you love, the restaurant food that you love, home. Join Stella Artois by supporting your favorite local restaurant by reserving your table for tomorrow and purchasing a gift card through helpmainstreet.com backslash tables for tomorrow. Meanwhile, Stella Artois is supporting relief grants for restaurants and chefs across the country through the James Beard Foundation.